up, y'all? This is Drunk in the Sun with Joe and Tom. Guess what? We're going to uh, get drunk and talk about everything under the sun. <laughs> Show about anything, anything under the sun. We didn't do that. All right. Let's do it. This episode yeah, is fire. Check us out every week on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and Spotify. Oh, shit. I come at you every week. First of all, this is for entertainment. We're not educational. Yeah. We're not. If you're coming to get your education from us, you are clearly misguided. Exactly. But, but check us out. We're the show about anything and everything under the sun. We Check us out. I show up. Like, what are you doing in there? He's like, I swear to God. Swear to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's legit. I don't think it's legit either. <laughs> hey, what up, y'all, man? This is Drunk in the Sun with John. I said John. John. <laughs> John. No, it's Tom. Tom and Joe. God damn, how drunk am I? Hey guys! What's going on? Oh, that's just drinking. Ah, screaming, I deserve this. <laughs> what did he deserve? Fuck! Like and subscribe so you get the notifications when we do drop something. Probably pretty fucking lame. But anyways, check it out. Drinking the Sun, podcast about anything and everything under the sun. I remember how they did it in prison. <laughs> Not as bad as how they do it in county. <laughs> what was your favorite prison food, Tom? <laughs> oh, that's easy. Fucking either, well... It was either fucking th- Thanksgiving or Christmas, because Thanksgiving and Christmas, you get... Fu- usually, you go through the line, and you're starving. Yeah. Even after you ate it, right? Yeah. Like, that was, it's it's like an elementary lunch. Yeah. Maybe a little less. Yeah. Oh. You know? And they're expecting you to survive off of this shit? Like, fuck you. That's why... How many times did you eat? Just once? Three times. Three times? You had three times. Okay. But if you had money, you could go to the commissary. Uh, so you could eat... You, once you, once you got hungry, you got fucking packs of noodles and shit like that. You could uh, make. That's what I did. I bought peanut butter and, and noodles because I didn't want to eat all my noodles up. Yeah. Sometimes I'd save them for, like, football games. Oh. And fucking... But, so I would get hungry still, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And so I, that's why I bought, bought uh, peanut butter. Because I would take a fucking scoop of peanut butter and just, like, slowly eat it. And it would kill my hunger. Oh, there you go. Survival. <laughs> but, that was a bad prison. Yeah. But, and, but but then, like, their lunch line is bullshit because they got, you got to line up in two rows. You got a CO standing there. And they're like, scan your badge. And they scan it. Oh, yeah, it was your, it was your badge. That's oh, what it was. shit. So you borrowed somebody's badge. Dude, they, that's, that's how they know you got your lunch. Oh, yeah. Right? So you have people who fucking would do, like, triple, they, they would buy, like, Hey man, let me buy your lunch for the day. Let me, you know, and yeah, trade yeah. off or hey, or their friends are like, hey, I'm not hungry. You want this? Yeah, like, yeah. And they give them their card. And the CEO's like, wait a minute, you were just fucking here. And they're like, ah, what are you talking about? So sometimes you get if, if CEO wasn't paying attention, and you weren't loud and stupid, yeah. you could do it. But if you were a dumbass, most of the times the, the ones who got caught were the dumbasses. Oh yeah, they're like they're just causing ruckus, and yeah. then they think they can go back through the line. Like, yeah, you that's a good part. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> Why'd you make all this food then? <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I mean, where you want to work at if you don't go to school is the kitchen. Because mm-hmm. then what you can do is you can steal shit. Nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> because like like that's how a lot of dudes they would get they would make gourmet meals because they would they would steal a bunch of shit from the fucking without in the kitchen when yeah. someone wouldn't notice. When the so, so, so what was it? You said there was something that was your favorite, what was it? Oh, it's Thanksgiving and Christmas. Thanksgiving. Oh, because what? Because what they give you a lot food. of food. Okay. You got a lot. And, and one cool. one Christmas, I remember, it was the best because fucking, and they gave you this big ass piece of cake. Oh, they actually had whipped cream on it. Oh shit! And it was big cake, and you had a fuck. I think I think they it was a chicken leg, and then something else and something else. I can't remember, but I ate mine because I was always yeah. I eat, I'm a fast eater, so yeah. I ate mine. And then this dude sat down and I knew he was from my dorm. Yeah. He's like, hey, man, I just came back from visit. You want this? I'm like, fuck yeah. So I ate. I was eating all of his shit, <laughs> right? And then someone else that he knew came down. Oh, no. And they're talking. He's like, man, you should have got here sooner. I would have I, I get, hooked you up my food. I gave it to this dude. And I'm sitting there like. <laughs> and the guy's like, man, that sucks. I'm like, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> as I'm stuffing this shit down. So I ate as fast as I could. I'm like, 
<laughs> Thanks, man. I'll catch you. And I'm just going. I, I don't blame you. In that situation, yeah. I'm I'm eating. Because I don't want. Because at this point, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking eat my food. Yeah. If I can get full now, yeah. my food can last longer. Exactly. You know what I mean, that's the type of mentality you develop when you're in places like that. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. That's I crazy. mean, I did the same thing because there was this one. You never believe this, but I went to this little religious thing, mm-hmm. and the only reason I went is because all these people were there's saying, "There's gonna be food." There's gonna be food. <laughs> they said they feed you the whole time, and it's not shit food. It's great food, and I'm like, really? For a whole week? Because you, you go to this thing for a whole week? It's like and, summer and, camp, basically. In your ex- Bible school, that's what. It is. Yeah, Bible. It's, but, yeah, basically. Yeah, but it's there. But you go through a bunch of shit, like make you talk about your feelings, make you talk about why yeah. you did. You know, it's supposed yeah. to be a rehabilitation. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. And the reason they dr- get people in there. Is because of all the food. So I, people are saying, like, yeah, you'll get all amount, but you can only do it like you can only do it like once or these parts. I can't remember. I think it was just like once. So if you did it once, you, you couldn't can't. go back. Oh you know? man, because there's a lot of inmates in there. Yeah, so it's Fucking, only like a certain amount of people. Yeah, and it is certain amount. And this group, this particular group, was it? You had to be a certain age to do oh. that. Oh, so at the end of like the first day, they gave everyone in that fucking room, and there was a fuck ton of people in this program, like. At least 150, 200. At Jesus. Least. No, maybe maybe not. Maybe not. I don't, okay, anyways. But I, but I would say at least 75 people. Yeah. At the minimum, 75 people. And they gave us all a cake, a personal fucking cake. Oh, shit. And by this time, I was stuck. I'm like, I can't eat another bite of food in my life. I'm like, fuck this. And then, and then they're like, yeah, just take it back to your dorms or your cells. I'm like, god damn it. Everyone's going to be thirsty as fuck. Uh-huh. Luckily for me, there was like, Four or five dudes from my dorm. Oh, yeah. And I went back to my dorm and my bunkie and my neighbors. I said, You guys, all y'all can split this, have it. Yeah. And that was out of my hands at that point. Yeah. So, because people would come back because they knew I was in that program. Yeah. So they, they come like, Yo, man, you got a cake too? I was like, Yeah, they gave it away. Gone. <laughs> my hands are clean. Don't talk to me. You know what I mean? I don't blame you. Yeah. You don't need that type of shit. I don't need that type of shit. <laughs> no. No, I don't blame me at all. But that's crazy. Yeah, but, but like, the, like you get there because you start from like the morning and you don't leave. You're there all fucking day. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got back to my dorm like it was late at night. It, oh shit. It was like seven, eight o'clock at night, dude. You know what I mean? So you're there all that time. But then at the, at the final day, they they basically throw a big ass club party. Yeah. And like there's music and fucking everyone's dancing and there's it's yeah. a good time, mm-hmm. right? And I'm like, this is cool, but. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> but I wasn't going up there and dance. I, you know, and yeah. they, and at one point they go, they, they, I remember this specifically. They give everyone like a white mask, and they say, "Draw how you think you are in perception of other people," and blah blah blah. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So I start doing it. <laughs> and I start drawing a fucking clown, like ICP shit, and then I put this fucking like a like a like. Uh, fucking like you fucking uh, with penguin hat on his umbrella. Oh yeah, and it hypnotizes you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The circles yeah. in the middle, and, and that's basically what it was it was a clown with the fucking thing in the middle, right? <laughs> and they were like, and after they told us to do that, they're like, all right, we're gonna go around the room and fucking everyone's oh, gonna tell us about the things. I hate that shit. And I'm like, you gotta be <laughs> fucking kidding me. So I'm sitting there listening, and everyone's like at these sob stories, and I'm like, how can I not get kicked out of here <laughs> and make? And make why I drew a clown funny, right? So I got up. So by the time it was me, I was like, I, I had my plan down. I was like, I got it. Yeah. So when I got up, they're like, what well, tell us about it. I was like, well, I drew the clown because, you know, I'm always funny and I'm, I'm nice to people. I interact with people. And, yeah. you know, everyone likes me. They, they, they laugh at my jokes. And and I was like, yeah, that's, that's cool. And the guy's like, well, what about the thing in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... I go, I go, well, that, you know, that's, that sucks you into my joke. It hypnotizes you. You like me. You like me, you know. I hypnotize you. I hypnotize you. And so fucking they're like, ah, oh, that's interesting. I'm like, guess it is. Sit back down. Listen to everyone else fucking go elaborate stories. Well, this is my gang signal. And blah. I used to fucking kill people. Now I'm a nice guy. Guess God told me so. You know? It's shit like that. That's the type of shit they were putting. <laughs> they put like... <laughs> I'm just saying. It was a crazy time. It was a crazy time. Oh, oh fuck. I can't even... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, but... Prison was a joke. was not a joke. I would say it's a joke. 
But it was it was a fucking trip. It was a trip oh, not to be not, had. Oh. I would I would suggest it nobody does. goes to prison. And, it sounds and, awful. And every prison is different state to state. And every person is different in the state. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the one I went to is totally different than the other. I would went never to. want to be in the Fucking Florida, sucks. Florida, man. Prison. I don't want to be in, anywhere outside of Ohio. I don't want to be in any of their jails or yeah. prisons. Especially California. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Fucking, uh. But yeah. That was my favorite meal there. <laughs> in county. I would say cereal is probably the best. Because you get oh, yeah. cereal. Every, every county. I've been to... No, only two. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two different county jails, yeah. Yeah. and they both suck. Yeah. But one, the one I went to, Knox County, fuck, I'm gonna make them famous. Fucking. <laughs> so fucking the one in Knox County, fucking. You, it was they because they turned the lights off. See what happens when you go to jail? They treat you like a kid. Yeah. And everyone in there acts like I, fucking I, kids. Yeah. Oh. They I, really fucking do. I, like, I don't know how many times I heard people go, oh, man, I can't believe they feed us this. I can't believe we can't do this. Why can't we do this? I'm like, because you're in jail. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. broke a fucking law, <laughs> retard. <laughs> like, how do you not get this? Exactly. Like, in Morrow County, I remember when I was, I'm like, they're famous too. <laughs> fucking, in Morrow County, fucking, I remember one time, because they would leave the dorm to go to the, the chow, chow hall. Yeah. And you're done the chow hall. Whenever I think, it felt like to me, whenever the fucking CEOs decide to show up, <laughs> you go back into the fucking, in the, the pod. And I remember one guy, man, just, and all these dudes from like Mansfield, yeah. and they were, cause that's, they would just come from Mansfield, they would, they would house their criminals. Yeah. They had so many of them, right? Yeah. They did that for Cleveland for a while too. Oh, shit. Fuck. Anyways, fucking, uh, so they fucking, this dude, he just fucking always bitched and moaned. I'm sitting there going. Dude, he's like, man, this food sucks. They don't feed us anything. We can't, you know, we why do we got to have the lights turned off at a certain time? This is fucking stupid, man. It's, stu- it's not a fucking hotel, bro. That's what I'm like. <laughs> I, I'm just look, listening to him, looking at him. And other dudes around him are like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm like, I'm like, dude. I'm <coughs> How like, long has this guy been here, though? No, he'd been there for a grip. That's probably why. He's probably like, this he's is just my house. <laughs> he's sick of it. But the thing is, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. That's I why I probably never will murder someone, because I sure as fuck couldn't stand living oh. my entire life behind bars. Oh. Fuck that. At least you got a taste of it. You know how it feels. That's that's enough to like not make you want to go back. Yeah, and that's why Be I more say, and that's why I really suggest everybody do it, so you can have a taste <laughs> of it and be like, you know what, this is not for me. I mean, maybe that should that should. And be then part some of people, and then some people will be like, you know what, I can really get into this. I'm having a light time in my life. I like like now, I learned some cool dice games in, in county jail. Don't get me wrong, because I was locked. I was locked up fucking uh, what sixty days one time, and everybody in there was fucking from Cleveland. Yeah. And this dude, this Italian dude, showed me a dice game. I it was it was sorta like Yahtzee, and I wanted to yell Farkle? at. Farkle. It was it, it wasn't Farkle because it, it was Casino is what he called it. Oh. And there's another there's a card game called Casino that I learned in prison that's fun as fuck too, oh. and it's totally different. But this yeah this one was dice. It was basically like basically Yahtzee. like Farkle and Yahtzee, where yeah. you would stack up your money uh-huh. and keep gambling. Or call it quits and put my points on the on the board, you know. Yeah. So every time we're rolling, I just want to yell out Yahtzee, but <laughs> but I don't because these dice one. You know how they made? You know how they get these dice? Because you know they how they have the dice. Them. They made them. They made it out of toilet paper, so they get it wet oh, and shit. compress and, it down. Yeah, and, like, and then take a fucking pen. Yeah. And put the fucking numbers Craftsman. on. Craftsman. Craftsman. <laughs> really work. But that game was fun as fuck, and I remember that. And and honestly, and, and honestly, <laughs> honestly. That bit I did in county jail is probably the funnest I ever had in county jail. Because, one, <laughs> usually I don't make friends in jail. I, I stay away from everyone. Yeah. Unless I know you. Because like, I don't want like, to be wrapped up in the shit. Yeah. But this Italian dude and these other two dudes that were with him, they were the coolest fuckers ever. Because I would, I would, I would, had, I had commissary. My mom mm-hmm. gave me, my mom hooked me up. I'm not going to lie. She hooked me up. And mm-hmm. fucking, uh, so I'd get coffee and shit and fucking. Yeah. And we would, tra- we would. Like, they were out of coffee, like, you want some coffee, bro? He's like, yeah. And, he's like, and, and I was out, and he's like, you want some coffee? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so we're like fucking shooting dice. We're shooting dice, I'm drinking coffee. I'm like, this is the best time ever. <laughs> They're laughing at my jokes. Tom's at a resort. I was at a resort. <laughs> all expensive, all expensive. Yeah. It was kind of fun. That time, that bit. Those 
fucking two months. Yeah. That was kind of fun. <laughs> Other than that, I don't recommend it. <laughs> but that was county, though. It was county. It's different in prison. You get more freedom in prison. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. You're allowed to do more shit. County, you're locked in one spot. Mm. All day, every day. Oh, and, and Oh, the, that and, would suck. And, that would. Oh, it sucks. And the joint... You have you certain times. Places. Yeah, and, and most, because I was in a medium security joint, and it was controlled. Medium, even. Yeah, medium. That's what it was. Because you have minimum, medium, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and so forth. That's middle. It's pretty, I was, I was around some killers, dude. Like, <laughs> the, no joke. I right, really yeah, was yeah, around yeah, killers. Yeah, yeah. Like, I looked up most of the people that I, I can remember. When I first got out. I, you looked them up? I looked up people on the internet. with DOJ. Yeah. You know, not the Department of Justice, but uh, Ohio yeah. Department of Corrections. My bad. I fucked it up. So Ohio Department of Corrections, I got in there, and I was looking up all these people. I'm like, holy shit. The ones that I knew the last names to, yeah. I'm like, holy shit. And I'm like, this guy was so cool to me, though. <laughs> you know? I'm glad. I'm glad I was on his bedside. Yeah. Because now, at one point, I went from a dorm to a cell. Yeah. And that's where you want to be, is a cell. Yeah. Because you're in a two-man cell, watching your own shit, oh, got yeah. your own shit, instead of a fucking dorm was the fucking million motherfuckers around just fucking yeah i get right yeah that would suck so what happened was my fucking i i went i got i went to the hole yeah i got out of the hole why'd you go there i got in a fight okay with my bunkie okay he was fucking i I think i remember that story but anyways continue i don't know if i told on i don't think you did but maybe i will anyways (laughs) so i went to the hole got out of the hole and they put me in G block i'm like fuck yes i'm like i get to go to a because i've been requesting like Flying out kites, the fucking, because uh, that's what they call them. They call them kites that you fill out and yeah. you fucking send to either your fellow inmates or you send them to the fucking guys in charge. Now, so, like, hey, give me over here. Yes, and you can request. You can request. That's... I would put request, request, request to get to a block. I hated the fucking the. I dorms. hate the hated dorms. In fact, pro- I had put in so many requests. When I got in a the fight, they were like. Well, what, what happened? I was like, man, I was trying to request to get the fuck out of there. Because these fu-. And they're like, well, what would you be doing in a two-man cell? I'm like, well, two-man cell, I get to know motherfucker. I get to know his shit. Because I was having bunkies switched left and right. Like, I was on a bottom bunk. Mm-hmm. Having bunkies. Like, dude, I had a different bunkie, it felt like, every fucking two or three months. It was fucking insane. Sh- now, people think, that's a long time. No, it's not. <laughs> not even doing three years. <laughs> yeah. So what 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 about so I went with them G-block. switching fucks, fucks well, with you? Well, it's just, uh, you just don't get to know. I I, I don't know why, it, and and I have no idea why. They just, you know, it's corrupt there too. So they probably have their the inmates that they like and they. Oh, cater okay. to. oh, so it wasn't the bunkie's choice; it was the other people's choice. Yeah, because every time I, I yeah, well, <clears throat> most of them left. And they went to fucking blocks, or they left prison. They yeah. got out. They got out. Oh, okay. Is it one or the other. It was okay. one or the other. And then someone else was filling that spot. Okay. So, finally get out of the hole, go to G-Block, and meet this fucking dude. And at, at when I, I was in MCI. So, MCI has a dog program, which is uh, people, and, and all of them dudes stay in cells because the only cellmate they have is a dog. And what they oh. do, what they do is they train dogs, like obedient, ba- basically obedient school. And then the prison sells those dogs. Yeah. So you can buy a dog from MCI. Oh. And it's going to be trained as fuck. And I'm going to say that from watching these motherfuckers. Oh. Like, because you, you see them train them on the yard. Yeah. Right? They would, they would have them, they'd have it to a point they would have the leash. And mid, mid stride, drop the leash. The dog stops and waits for them to turn around and say, come. And then they would come. Oh, they, they, shit. And it was all different types of dogs. Those dogs are probably pricey. Probably. <laughs> I mean, it, they were killer trip, but this is all these convi- yeah. convicts have to do, right? Yeah, so, that would be the shit. Yeah, to have a dog. Yeah, but see, I I didn't have that. So yeah. the dude I was with, he was in the lizard program. Same sh- concept of the dog program, but raising th- this was like a newly fledged thing they were trying to do. Yeah, trying. But we had a fucking bearded dragon in our cell, and he huh. would take it out. He'd feed it crickets and shit. And he was he was cool, and he got a bass guitar. Huh. He, he played guitar all the time, and. I would have to ask him, like, hey, take, can you take your headphones off so I can listen to you? Because he would hook it up, and he would oh, listen be, to okay. it. So I couldn't hear shit, so him, yeah. dum, 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 dum. and I would watch TV. I was on the top bunk, he was on. I get out, I'm like, what? And uh, before I, I get out, right, Yeah. ended up, someone requested a cell, got transferred to that cell. 
Uh. And I got transferred back to a dorm. Mm. I'm like, motherfucker, this was the shit. I fucking loved it. You know, this is like fucking two years into my my bid. Yeah. And fucking, so I'm sitting there. I'm like, this fucking blows. Go back to this loud ass dorm. Fucking, it just sucks, right? Now, do you feel that <clears throat> the prison is like, oh, the dorms are more a comfortable place for the people? No. You no. think it's the shit, it, it, the it, shitty part? Yeah, it's the shitty part. Yeah. And the reason the prisons do it is you can put more people in. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and it's just because it, it's just an open space. Yeah, a big huge with, space with bunks. With bunks. Yeah. In the middle two rows are that single. That just sounds bunks. dangerous. To well, me. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyway. Because they got they got rows on the sides of yeah. the walls, and then in the middle is two single rows. So if you were in a dorm, you wanted the single single bed. Oh, yeah. Because here's double anyway. double stack, double bunk beds in your aisle. Single, single, row of single beds. Bunk beds. So that's how it was. Ooh, and yeah. so, it, so if you were in, if you were in a dorm... You're the place you want because if you're in a single bed, you got your own dresser. If you're in a double, if you're in a bunk bed, that dresser is between two people. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, it's not okay. one person. Right. So you, it's better if you're in a it's dorm single, oh, being single rows. Yeah. Which I never got. Yeah. The highest achievement in the dorm I got was to be on the bottom bunk because <laughs> at first you start at the top uh-huh. and then you got to get work your way to the bottom. <laughs> Right, so so the veterans I, go down. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much because you request it. You request oh, it. You have yeah. to request all that shit. Yeah. Well, they're not, or else if you do get it, you're lucky. You know, Tom's I mean? been here a while. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, but so I ended up. I, I was back in the dorm. Yeah, and like a week, two weeks go by, and they're like five hundred nine one one five Murfield. I'm like, yes, sir. Like, roll it up. I'm like, roll it up. I'm getting out of prison. <laughs> And they're like, nope, you're going to G Block. I'm like, back to G Block? I'm like, all right. They tell me my cell number. Can't remember what cell number was. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's where the fuck I was at. So I get there, and the guy who I, I bunked with, he was never there. The only time he was there was at the end of the day and through the night. And then at breakfast time, he went, and then he went to his job. Because what he did was he would paint. Mm. Dude, this guy was a hell of an artist, dude. And he was in all the programs. and Because he, he'd been down for fucking like... He's in his 60s. Jesus. Yeah, he's in his 60s. And he'd been down a fucking grip. Like, yeah. Uh, top of my head, I can't remember. But you'll know how long he's been there when I tell you after when I get it. So, anyways. <laughs> so, so I get back. I'm back there and I'm chilling. I'm watching... Because you have... I got my own TV at this time. Yeah. He's got his TV. I got my TV. And it's a chill fucking spot. I'm like, I know he's not going to be here. For the majority of the day, I, if I don't want to go outside or do anything, I can stay right here. Yeah. Because the the rule, the silent rule is, you both if you share a cell, don't be there all the time. Like you all you switch off. Okay. Like yeah. like I get the that. only time you can be there is the end of the day because you can't <clears throat> you can't go locked down. Else. You can't go anywhere. But during that time, like let me have my free time and you have your exactly. Time. Uh, yeah. Like, I that's get, the rule. I get it. Yeah. So with him never being there. Except at the end of the night, I was like, I can sit here all fucking day. Don't have to go outside and interact with these freak jets. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I watch movies all day. Fuck it. Right? Yeah. yeah. It was it was the shit. So then when he came back that night, he's like, all right. I'm like, what's up? And he's like, all right, man. And I was like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, man, that when they took you out... I was fucking heated. I was like, "Really?" He's like, "Yeah, you were. Like, you're quiet as fuck. You don't bring no trouble here. You're cool as fuck. You like fuck that shit, right?" And he's like, and then he said, "He's like, um, when they took you out of here, they brought some fucking wild, dumbass motherfucker starting <laughs> shit up." So you know what I did? I was like, "No, what?" He's like, "I went straight to the captain and said, give me my old silly back right fucking now.'" <laughs> that's awesome. So and that's how I got back because he, he's been down so long. Yeah, they're like, "Fuck, but yeah." He he's basically you earn trust with the COs. Yeah. They know you're not really you. You changed. Yeah. Because in time you change. Yeah. Now so then that being said, he was so cool. He was yeah. so chill. He was like, "You want you want to pet my lizard?" And not this lizard, but his lizard. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, "Yeah, that's cool." He's like, "You you can hold him if you want." I'm like, "All right, sweet." And he'd be fucking playing and fucking the times he was there. Yeah. He wasn't always there. Yeah. And fucking uh That's cool though, yeah. It was cool. And th- but then I got out. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I wonder what I started looking up motherfuckers. Oh, so you looked him up. I looked him up. This dude. Oh shit. 
First of all, he got locked up when he was 18 oh, yeah. for the crime that he's on now, yeah. being 60. Yeah. Because of murder. Not, and it was like multiple murders. Shit. Desecration of the corpse. Oh, fuck. So he fucked the corpse. <sighs> I don't know how many of them. I can't remember. <laughs> but he fucked some. He had paraphernalia on him. He was whatever the fuck. All these drug chases. So all kinds of Stealing shit. car. A, a stolen car. Like all these charges. Because it... it I mean, it became it became because I from what I saw of his charges, I didn't read. I don't know his story, but yeah, you can only see his charges. Yeah, and I was and to me, he had like a stolen car on there, fucking dead bodies, desecrated bodies. So he probably got high as fuck, was in gangs, killed some motherfuckers, maybe a chick or whatever, raped them, and fucking he got popped for it. But yeah. he was eighteen. Jeez. He's eighteen when he did this. Yeah, shit. I met him when he was in his sixties. Yeah, you know what I mean. Jesus, that's so how long. He, I he's, mean, he's been, he's there for life. And there, yeah, yeah. And, and and MCI, so he probably went to like Lucasville or Lebanon, start off because those yeah. are higher securities yeah. than where I went. You have to get your security dropped to make it back because you can get it dropped. Yeah, because they're like, well, he's safe now. He's rehabilitated, sort of. <laughs> you know, he's got. They just, you know what I mean. Yeah. You can get it yeah, dropped. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's how he got the MCI. And yeah. by that time, he was, you know, he was basically reformed. Yeah. But still living in prison. Yeah, because And he... wouldn't have no idea what the fuck was going on out here. Yeah. Because the short time I was in there for only three fucking years, yeah. there was a shit ton that changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? Everybody had cell phones? <laughs> when I went in, nobody had cell phones. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, the, the internet blew the fuck up. When I went in, the internet was a fledgling fucking thing. Like, I was yeah. just, like, learning about the internet. Yeah. And, like, websites. Thought that was the only thing. But... Yeah. I was like, what the... And, the, like, the MySpace shit was out yeah. when I first got out. And I'm like, what? And, fa- and texting? Yeah. Had no idea what the fuck that was. <laughs> and this is a three-year span. Yeah. That ain't shit. No. Now, imagine someone who's been 10 years and plus. Oh, yeah. I'm Coming like, what the fuck they do? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah. Gas is what? You gotta wear a mask? What? Yeah. You know? No, they probably made them wear a mask inside, though, probably. Probably. They probably did. I mean, I know a lot of prisons did have outbreaks and shit, so... I'm sure they did. But dude, yeah, it was. But yeah, that's only thing I was recommends people try it, see if they like it. <laughs> I did not like it. I mean, don't get me wrong. When you're in there, you start I mean, thinking of like, well, you start having a good time because this is your life. Yeah, and like you start getting accustomed to what's yeah. Going after on. your after your first six months, you're like, this is it. Like, fuck it. Yeah, it's either get. A, acclimated to it or be miserable yeah and i i acclimated to the environment and i decided to better myself yeah. so i was reading books all the fucking time oh yeah i was watching like i would watch movies all the time like, and i would, i remember so many times because at that point because the prison has their own basically like their own cable show yeah where they fucking inmates do shit oh, and they yeah. have like talk okay. shows inmates have talk shows on there, <laughs> right and then they'll run like movies they'll have yeah. certain they'll have a movie list in your in your dorm or your block to say this is the movie playing this time. Yeah, so yeah. I watched Batman Begins a thousand times in that motherfucker. And I was like, Yes. <laughs> yes. I remember when I first saw it on the schedule, I was like, oh, <gasps> Batman. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Watch and we watch like I watch American um uh, no not American History X. That's too gang filled <laughs> for that. But uh get him brought th- up. What's the one what's the one I was fucking thinking of? Vigo Mortison, um History of Violence. Oh, okay, probably. Yeah, I seen yeah. that in there. That's the first time I seen that. There's a bunch of movies that I watched. Ghost Rider, I think it was when yeah. I watched that. In I know there. you watched Catwoman. I did. It was horrible. <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, so you get accustomed to it. You, you start fucking. I mean, it starts feeling like home. Yeah, because you have no choice. Yeah, there's nothing. And then, like I said, like I said, I only did three years. Now, most people yeah. they're like, "That's a long fucking time." But to a convict, it's not that long time. Like, I was in there with dudes who who were only in there for a year. Yeah, but they like, probably served more. No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's like, their sentence was a, okay. a year or whatever. And fucking two years, three years, seven years, ten years, yeah. 20 years, life. Yeah. Met a lot of those motherfuckers in there. Yeah. And, uh, but I watched one dude literally get there after I got there. Yeah. Got out and came back on a violation. Before I was gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> that means you're a total fuck up. And the judge fucked up by giving you such a light term the first yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's crazy, though. I, I don't want to experience it. I think I'm, I'm, I'm good. Well, <laughs> that's why I hope fucking pot is legal. Because the only thing illegal I really do nowadays... Yeah. Smoke pot. Yeah. 
That's it. Well, yeah. drink and drive, but <laughs> well, <laughs> not, but it's not really drink and driving if you know what you're doing. I think, right? Because it, 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 everybody knows how to drive, though. Yeah, but not everybody knows how to drive drunk. Oh, and cautious. <laughs> He's trained. I'm trained. <laughs> then I, I try not to get annihilated when we go. Yeah, Usually yeah. it's like a couple beers and or three, and I'm like, or four, or five, and I'm like, I'm good. And then I wake up in the morning and go, what the fuck happened? <laughs> and then I'm like, I look at my car like, okay, okay, everything's good. The car's here. It's in one piece. I don't have to worry about shit. I just got to feel like a piece of shit for a couple days. That's usually what happens. Like, if I if I do get fucked up and I can't remember what I did the yeah. next day, I'm like, you piece of shit. Why? Why? You're yeah. supposed to be responsible. Yeah. You have fucking all these bills that you pay and you still, you still do this? <laughs> and then I have to tell myself, well, that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for tuning in, Drunk of the Sun. This is Joe and Tom. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody. Like and subscribe. And thank you all for subscribing and liking. From Drunk on the Sun, the podcast about everything and anything under the sun. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and Instagram. We're posting new shit every week. See ya.